Hello everybody and welcome back! I am the Game Shark, and today we have episode 44 of our Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. And in today's episode, we're actually going to travel to Cinnabar Island and try and get us another gym badge. So if you guys are hyped, hit the hell out that like button. But without further ado, let's get the party started. And if you guys recall, at the end of yesterday's episode, uh, we actually lost a team member. We lost Magi, the Alakazam, and now we have Grim, the... Dust Nower. So we're actually going to go ahead and start today by giving him the experience share so he can kind of catch up to the rest of the party. Sounds like a good idea to me. Um, now we did kind of travel over here, but we're not actually going to go this way. Um, no, no we're not. I don't want to go over there. So let's go ahead and fly to... Should we go from Pallet? It's a shorter distance from Pallet, however, we never got our encounter for just south of Fuchsia. Route 19 and 20. Um, let's just, let's just go from Pallet. I think that's our best route. So we're gonna travel here, and then we're gonna have to swim south, hopefully get an encounter or two. Um, we'll probably try and skip a couple of those trainer battles, cause we're kinda super powerful already. Everybody's at basically a 55. We have a 56 and a 54. Um, let's put Salami up front. No, maybe we should keep Fancy up in there until he gets his level 55. Excuse me. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and surf on Fancy here. And let's try and get ourselves an encounter for Route 21. Why does that spot look so funny? Okay. Oh, she spotted us. She spotted us. Alright, lady, let's see what you have for us today. Swimmer Nikki. Naughty Nikki with the seal. Alright, level 37. It's like, what's the point? What is the point? What is life? Hopefully this will uh, one-shot this seal. But we still don't know what his hidden power is yet. Um, Aurora Beam. Good thing we didn't leave with Salami, guys. That would have knocked his ass out. Well, maybe not kill him. Probably not kill him, since this guy's only level 37. But uh, it definitely wouldn't have felt pretty good, that's for sure. So this hidden power will kill the seal. Who else you got, buddy? You got a dugong gong gong? You do have a dugong gong. So that's water ice. I don't know if we want to put Atlas out there. So let's just stick with Fancy. And I'm pretty sure you are ice type, so let's go for the ancient power. You don't like ancient power. You don't like rock move. Please kill. Please kill. Ooh, super effective. All right, Dugong is toast. Grim gets a little bit of love. Grim, who do you love? And we get some money. I don't mind that. Let's continue on here. Maybe hit this little sandbar. Repels effects. Ah, now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Come on, dude. You ain't got to take that long to go surfing, do you? Um, is this a rich kid or a, a flyer? Ah, it's a flyer, boy. If it's one of those rich kids, man, they give you buku bucks, so we got to fight them. But uh, we'll knock this cat out real quick. He's got a far-fetched level 36. What the hell is the point? Why are you guys so low-leveled? Just give you a couple ancient powers here and there. I don't think anybody on your team are gonna like these. Here's another ancient power. Sit on it, dude. And what do you got? A Pidgeot? A Firo. Not bad. Not bad. I do like me a Firo. Aerial Ace. Too bad we're part rock type and that won't affect us very much. And this ancient power will kill you. Only a level 36. That is that's boggling my mind. What a waste of time. Ooh, that's like the first stat boost we've gotten in a long time. Long time. We've been using a lot of ancient powers, too. But that's alright. They, uh, they come in handy when we need them. And I can't really express enough how much that saved us in the Elite Four, those ancient powers. If you guys forget, go back and check it out. Uh, what a battle with those Elite Four dudes. And Lady, I believe. But uh, what a battle. Lance almost had our ticket. Almost had our ticket, but Fancy had something else to say. Look how this guy's swimming! I've never seen something so atrocious in my whole entire life. This guy's doing like 360s. Ah, a Tyrogue. So that is dupes. 
so that does not count as our encounter for Route 21 here. We're just going to run away. Can we get something else? What does Route... Here we go. Route 21. Come on, baby. Well, actually, that's probably like the Magic Harps, right? So it's probably all tie rogues unless we use a fishing pole. So let's go to one of those sandbars. And let's just fish real quick. What do you say? What do you say? And I could probably... No, I think we have the bike as our... What do you call it? Look at that blue flute. That thing looks just like a bong. That red flute, too. Nintendo, man. Putting bongs in games since 1993. All right. Uh, good rod. Super rod. I got that super rod. I got that su 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 super rod. Give me a catch. Pokemon got away? What the hell? I don't even know that could happen. Come on, give me a Pokemon. The Pokemon got away. It's going over uh, Fancy's head. The, uh, the exclamation mark. You guys see that? Look. If we don't get somebody, it goes over his head. Alright, I'm pushing A. The Pokemon got away. Alright, let's try facing this way then. I don't know what the hell's going on. I just want a Pokemon on the hook! Damn it! Reeled in too quickly. Oh, so it is one of those. Okay. So I'm gonna wait for the exclamation mark. I hit it. Landed a Pokemon. Okay. Well, we're learning day by day. Episode 44, we still know how to fish. How about that? A Persian! A pretty girl. I like it. I actually, if you guys don't recall, in our Fire Red Let's Play, we had a Meowth for a very long time. Not because Meowth was good or anything, but because Meowth had that, uh, that pickup ability. And we were getting rare candies, we were getting TMs. Pickup ability is dope. Um, Persian does not have that ability, however, Persian is infamously known to be a super, super fast Pokemon. Uh, and if you guys remember in Gen 1, Speed determined power gem. What the hell is that? Speed determined critical hits. So Persian was always getting critical hits. Um, and it was normal type. So I think bite was also normal type at the time. So bite crit with Persian was a big, big thing back in the day. Um, they kind of balanced her out in today's game, but still a good Pokemon. She's still super fast as well. Only 11 Ultra Balls. Shit. I'm going to curse one time. I'm going to curse one time. I didn't realize. Can't use curse after a taunt. Well, we're not going to kill you, so let's just throw an Ultra Ball. We're going to uh, have to restock up once we get to Cinnabar, which we should be very, very close to. Shouldn't be too much further away now. Goes for another taunt. Doesn't really affect us, little kitty cat. Doesn't really affect us. And what's crazy is uh, we didn't really see, like, many big cat Pokemon in Pokemon. Um, like, I'm trying to think. Arcanine? Ooh, we caught the Persian. Arcanine's kind of like a tiger lion, but that's like the only big cat in Gen 1. And then Gen 2 obviously introduced the the uh, legendary trio. The classy... Well, one sec. I'll continue that thought in just one second. The classy cat Pokemon. Many adore it for its sophisticated air. However, it will lash out and scratch for little reason. Sophisticated error? What the hell does that mean? What the hell does that mean? Um, alright. I don't know about you guys, but there's like a Disney movie. It's called Alley Cat Strike. So, I know that's not how you spell the girl name, Alley. But that would be like an alleyway, right? Like, don't go down that alley, it's a little scary. So we're gonna go with that. Alley Cat. I like it. I like it a lot. I'll, now we're getting a call from Lyra. No thank you. No, thank you. But anyway, as I was saying, so, big cats in Pokemon. So then we get the legendary trio in Gen 2 with Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. And they're kind of like dog cat things. Like, um, Raikou's definitely a tiger of some sort. And Entei's definitely lion-esque. Um, I think Suicune's probably wolf-like. That's alright. So, it's nice, it's nice to get a Persian because Persian is kind of like a... I don't know, well, maybe like a Puma-ish? It's Puma-ish. But yeah, I dig big cats, and uh, it's, it's nice to see them in Pokemon. And obviously, uh, with all the Pokemon Sun and new Moon news that's being released daily, almost, it feels like at least. Wow, look at Cinnabar. Cinnabar got a makeover. Um, we know that the legend for Pokemon's 
There's Metagross in here? You gotta be kidding me. Dude, Metagross would have been perfect. Absolutely perfect. We would have taken out uh, that Dust Nower right away and thrown in Metagross, but... What are you gonna do, I guess? Um, let's surf you away, see if that'll kill. But yeah, so the legend for Pokemon Sun and Moon is going to be the Soul Galeo Pokemon, the huge metal... Oddly enough, he's Metal Psychic, just like Metagross. Um, or Steel Psychic. So the Steel Psychic lying, Lion, Soul Galeo. And he looks sweet. He looks dope as hell. I only wish he had fire on him. How does he not have fire? He's the Sun Pokemon. It should be Steel Fire, I think. I think Steel Fire would be a ba- oh. What's going on here? What in the hell? Sorry about that, guys, but I think we got it figured out now, so let's continue on our journey. Uh, and we did see somebody up here. Let's talk to this guy. I have a feeling I know who this is, but let's talk to him anyway. Who are you? My name's Blue. I was once the Kanto champion, although it was short-lived thanks to Red. Anyway, take a good look around you. Yeah? A volcano erupts, and just like that, a whole town disappears. Holy shit, that's what happened to Cinnabar? We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can be overwhelmed in a second. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me for real, show me how many Kanto badges you've got. Six? You're not ready to battle me. What, I need seven? Pfft. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Nothing here. That'd be cool if there was. Um, oh wait, we are in... Shit. That Metagross was our encounter for Cinnabar, wasn't it? I am such an idiot. Such an idiot. Damn it. <sighs> well, we can't get another encounter. That wouldn't be fair. I really blew that one. This is going to be a Metagross, and it's going to be like a kick to the face. Yep, kick to the face. Sweet, dude. Sweet. I blew that so hard. So hard. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, well, here's Route 20, so this is at least a new route. Let's see what we can get for Route 20 here. Wow, speak of the devil and Arcanine. And you know what? We don't have many um, fire-type Pokemon, so this is sweet. I think we only have two. I think we only have two, so that's that's nice. Do you think a mud shot would kill? Hmm. I think it's only a 20. It's 55. No, we can't risk that. We can't risk that. Let's throw in... Let's throw in Atlas. I think he could even need a flamethrower, to be honest. I doubt Arcanine has flamethrower, because you need to keep him as a Growlithe for quite a while in order to get flamethrower. And I doubt the video game did that. Alright, so we're going to leech this dude. He might have Fire Spin or something. Fire Fang? Holy shit. Holy shit. It's super effective. We'll get some health back, though. We're not too scared. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang, homie. Go for a quick curse. Alright, kind of speed. He's going to roar us away. Son of a bitch. Well... <laughs> This game is going to give me a headache. Let's go ahead and use the Super Repel. So we don't have to worry about any more nonsense. Um, and I'm pretty sure Blaine is over here somewhere. Where are you, Blaine? Where is your rat ass? You rat ass son of a bitch. Um, he's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, what's this little island here? Damn it. Alright, come here, come here, come here. Look! It's my very best swimsuit and my very best Pokemon! Lucky me! Swimmer Leona. Oh, wow, a Bidoof! I like Bidoof. I like Bidoof a lot. Fancy, do you like Bidoof? Uh, probably not. About to smoke him. Or her. He gone. She gone. She gone. Badoo fainted. I think she had one more Pokemon. Hey, Grim gains a level. 
Not bad, bud. Not bad. Look at that defense. That's a very defensive Pokemon. I never realized. Oh! Oh, she only had one Pokemon. Well, that makes it a little quicker for us. What the hell no. No, no, no. Alright, it doesn't look like we can continue on this way, so we're going to have to go through the cave. Uh, and that's alright, that's alright. I was just trying to not have to fight this trainer. But it is what it is. Are you in a hurry? How about a quick battle break? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Picnicker Adrian with one Pokemon. She's got a Shroomish. We're going to go out to Poe here. Because we ain't playing no games. What? We ain't playing no games. Come on. Poe's about to give this dude a wing attack and call it a day. The Seed Bomb. Shouldn't do too much. Shouldn't do too much at all. How's your wing attack, Shroomish? Ten levels above you. It's super effective. We're also holding the Sharp Beak. You really never stood a chance. You really never stood a chance. Sorry to break it to you. Uh, spreading the love, spreading the love. And continuing on. Let's see this cave here. Seafoam Islands with the dugong. A dugong gong gong, a dugong gong. Okay, we still have the super repel on. Um, hey, an escape rope. That'll come in handy. I don't know if we should go down or up first. Let's go down. Let's go down. Oh, boy. It's one of these. Uh, so this isn't ice. We can walk on this. That's interesting. Looks like we're going to need strength. I don't know if I really want to teach that to a Pokemon. Repel's effects wear off. That's sweet. Now we can get an encounter. Look at all these dudes. What in the hell? Oh, there's Blaine. This is the flipping gym. Wow. A white lab coke is a researcher's life. We may be living in a cave like this, but we'd never forget to do the laundry. That's my dude. That's my dude. Preach, homie. Never forget to do the laundry. Look at this guy. Scientist Lowell. Looks like a mad scientist. He's got an Arcanine. Level 50. That is no joke. So Blaine's working with 55s, right? He's gotta be. He's gotta be working with 55s. Let's go for the surf. He goes first, hits the fire fang. We should quad resist that. Quad resist. Surf goes off. Uh, undoubtedly should kill. Should kill. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Arcanine's toast. Fancy gets a whole bunch of love. So does Grim. Now, are you going to move out of the way? How do I continue? This white lab coat makes me feel like I've become smarter for some reason. So you're going to take, take a step back. I see. I'll fight all these guys. I'm not afraid. We lost a gym on Cinnabar Island and felt lost before we came here. Now I see. Now I see. It's just a lot of science and research up in here. Up in here. Look at Ninetales. Beautiful Pokemon. I think I always preferred Arcanine over Ninetales, though. Will-O-Wisp. It's a dirt move. I did, however, really like Vulpix. Vulpix is a great Pokemon. I love the color of Ninetales. I have a Golden Retriever, so I'm a big fan of Golden or Yellow Dogs. So Ninetales will always hold a special place in my heart. However, I am an Arcanine dude. I am an Arcanine dude. I think it's the, uh, the Lion-esque kind of feel to him. I think, at least. We take a step back when we are defeated. Don't think, don't you think that we are downright honest? Never put us in the same category as scientists who help bad guys. Okay, well you don't really help me taking that step back. So I guess that was just on me, making the wrong move. Uh, let's go ahead and use a quick super potion. Really quick though. It's like super quick. Uh, oh, we actually need a burn heal, don't we? Do we have one of those? No, we got a full heal. I suppose we could use that. Son of a bitch. Here we go. Full heal on Fancy. He's so fancy that you already know. Wow, to see a gym in a cave like this, I'd love to explore it. Me too. We're going to go get strength in a little bit, and maybe we'll come back here and check it out. Super nerd carry with the electronic Pikachu there. He's got a Torkoal. Okay, I see you now. I see you. Can we get our level 55 with this battle? That'd be pretty sweet. That would be pretty rad, dude. Die. Die. Yeah, he did. He did. Level 53, that should give some nice experience. Ah, uh, just shy. 
just shy. How do I feel about losing? It hurts. Of course. Now take a step back. Nothing here. Um, so you're going to take a step back so we can go... Oh. Should we talk to him first? I'm going to talk to this guy. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, you look easily defeated. Shows what you know, guy. Shows what you know. A mag cargo. Ah. I'm pretty sure that is fire rock. Pretty sure that's fire rock. I don't know why Torkoal isn't, though. I'm pretty sure Torkoal's just fire type. Which doesn't make much sense, because I feel like mag cargo and Torkoal are very, very similar Pokemon. You know, it's like a lava Pokemon that has a shell made of rock or whatever. Very similar. Very similar indeed. That a boy fancy. That a boy. Ooh, Grim, too. I see you, big fella. Super nerd Merle. Get out of here, Merle. Pardon me. I feel the sense how strong you are. All right, so here's Blaine. Um, I think we're all set. I mean, let's give a couple super potions while we're here. Just in case. Give one to Atlas, and then we can give one to Poe. Alright. I'm not afraid of you, Blaine. I'm not afraid of you. What kind of what kind of voice should we give Blaine? Um mm, let's see what we can do here. Hey you! My gym on Cinnabar Island was burned down by the eruption. But I will not give up. Take a look at this cave. We have turned it into a gym, and I am still acting as gym leader. I will give you the gym badge if you manage to defeat me. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, shit. Look at his graphic. Blaine is killing it with that mustache. Ooh, and he's got a little bit of hair in the front. All right, three Pokemon, Mad Cargo. Level 54. We can do that. We can handle that. We can handle that. Alright, let's surf him away. Uh, we go fat or we go first, we're faster than this guy. That's a first. Usually fancy's always second unless the quick claw uh, pops. So we take care of that mag cargo in one shot. That is huge. Absolutely huge. A magmar. Uh oh. He could have He could have funny moves. He could have like uh, ice punch, thunder punch. I still think we're good with fancy since he's part rock type though. I think we're good. Uh, as far as I know, there's no such thing as a Grass Punch. Sunny Day, so he's going to set up for the last Pokemon. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. Surf will also be less effective in the sun. So it might not kill. Please kill. Alright, it doesn't kill. He's going to use a potion here. He's going to use a potion here. So since he's going to do that, maybe we'll go for Ancient Power. Confuse Ray? Who are you, Blaine? Who are you? Can we bust through, Fancy? Please bust through. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Yeah! That's what happens when you lean on Fancy. He'll stand there like a statue that he is. Get the stamp! Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee! That's my dude! Look at him do it. Go ahead, Fancy. Go ahead, Fancy. Alright, come on, man. Level 30. What's up, Grim? Grim wants to learn Curse? Let's take a look at your moveset real quick. I suppose. Astonish, Confuse Ray, Pursuit, Shadow Sneak? I don't even know what the hell that is. Uh, Astonish is booty, and you're slow, so Curse might be really good for you. Oh, wait, wait, but you're a Ghost type, so Curse works differently. That's still good. I'd still, I think, rather have Curse than Astonish, so... We'll roll with it. Rapidash is his final Pokemon. I think we're good to stay out with Fancy. How does Blaine not have an Arcanine? That's really weird. I'll show you the true spirit of this cave gym. Or some shit like that. I don't know. He has bounce. We're confused. That's fine. That's the time to hurt ourselves. That would be the time. Let's go for another. Oh, level fifty-nine rapidash. Quick claw pops. We don't want the quick claw to go. Oh, fancy. You're so silly. Go ahead and use bounce. That ain't gonna do shit. A crit too. This guy catches a crit. Of course he does. He's going to do it again. Alright, you know what? I think we're going to go for the full restore. Let's go full restore. Did that say sunlight faded? That's huge. Full restore on fancy. Go ahead and use your bounce. He misses? <laughs> what a joke. Another one. Whatever, dude. Now we're paralyzed. 
Now we're flipping paralyzed. Alright, Surf goes. Let's see what it does. Ooh, wait, with those stat boosts, it's going to kill. And Fancy does it again. Back at it again with the pink Fancy. That's what I like to see, y'all. Awesome. I have burned out. Take this volcano badge. Yo. That's what's up. That's what's up. I like this gym, by the way. Not bad. Here. I will give you this, too. It's called Overheat. It has a slight drawback, but it's powerful and well worth it. Okay. Thanks, dude. For sure. We will definitely make good use of this. I did lose this time, but I'm going to win next time. When I rebuild my Cinnabar Gym, we have to hold a rematch. That's a deal, buddy. Whoop that ass any day of the week. Name the place. Name the time. I'll be there. Okay, so we're only looking at about maybe five more minutes of game time here. Um, so I think what we'll do is let's fly back to Cinnabar. And we'll go talk to Blue. We'll go show him that we have seven badges now. Uh, hopefully he'll go to his, his gym. And from there, I think we could start tomorrow's episode by going back to that cave and using strength and checking it out. If you want to battle me for real, come to the Viridian Gym. I'll be waiting. Okay. That's a deal, dude. I'm not afraid of you. Why do we still not have rock climb? That'd be really sweet. That'd be really sweet. Um, I think we'll probably just call it an episode here. It's a little bit shorter of an episode. Um, but that's alright. That's alright. I think I'd rather have like a a few minutes short of an episode than like a 40 minute episode because I don't think anybody really likes to watch uh, episodes that are way over 30 minutes. I try to aim for 30 minutes but you know you don't always get there it's kinda tough but um but yeah let's call it an episode here thank you so much for joining us today you guys if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button if you liked the video today hit that like button And if you have any questions for me please leave them in the comment section down below but I'm gonna get on out of here I am the Game Shark, and I'll see y'all next time. See ya!